What's up, guys? Mike with Daily Riot here, and we got an absolute banger for you today. It's a smorgasbord of copium, liberal tears, and uh, just just tons and tons of hopium on their part, trying to figure out how they could turn this around, what they could possibly do. And they're all blindsided by what happened. We're going to get into why, but let's go ahead and uh, watch this video. You got to be fucking sucking my dick right now. There's absolutely no way that you're... I'm, I'm an election denier. I am now going to be a fucking election denier. You cannot convince yeah, me that, I'm not surprised. that many people that fucking hate Donald Trump, that piece of shit motherfucker, there's no way that he got the popular vote, he got the fucking House and the Senate and the presidency. It just doesn't make any fucking sense. It really doesn't. All right. So, yeah, these people are all blindsided by it. They just don't know what just happened. Why? How did this happen? It must be some kind of a scam or something. But in reality, they were living in some sort of an echo chamber. And they were. They were, right? So if you if you actually paid attention, you looked on social media, like most of the platforms out there, you saw the just overall sentiment was favorable towards Trump. It just was on on YouTube, on Facebook, uh, definitely not Instagram. Instagram was definitely one of those echo chambers. And TikTok was another echo chamber uh, where they just all kind of, you know, gassed each other up and made each other feel like Kamala was going to win. There's no chance that Trump has. He's a dictator, blah, 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 orange, mad, bad. But anywhere else that you went, the sentiment was all the same. Trump. Trump was the one they wanted. Yet these people got completely blindsided because they didn't go anywhere else. They ran away from X, the freest speech platform out there. They ran away from even groups on Facebook that are like political were leaning towards Trump. They left all of these different, um, let's say, more free speech or more... Um, I guess mixed uh, feelings from people regarding who was going to win, and they just went to to platforms that said, "Hey, Kamala's going to win. You're right about everything. Don't worry." And you know they would also watch news, which all of them, all of them outside of Fox, which I believe it's my opinion that they're a controlled opposition, but all of them basically, uh, you know, were pushing the same message. Trump was a dictator. He was going to lose. Here's some polls that say Kamala's going to win. Anywhere that there was any way that people can can express themselves freely, it always leaned towards Trump. Even the betting markets, where you know you can't really control how people bet their money, it still leaned towards Trump. With all of the money they raised, everything they did, they just couldn't do it. Okay, America is basically just red, conservative red across the board. There's a few blue dots here and there, and California kind of blew me away completely because I didn't realize how red it was. So there's like a little sliver on the Pacific coast of California that's blue. Majority of the rest of it is red. So that's the reason why these people just don't understand. It just melted their brains when Trump won because uh, they didn't get out. You know how people are like, hey, go out and touch some grass. They didn't get out and touch any grass. They stayed in their little echo chamber and repeated the same nonsense to each other all day long. Uh, here's a <laughs> here's another lunatic. Easiest and most effective form of protest you have right now that you can start immediately. Mm -hmm. Put a mask back on. Oh, OK. Stop letting them observe your face and have the side benefit of better health and protecting the rest of us in the world. Put a mask back on. Fuck this government. Is he it? Yeah. All right. So this is one of the best cell phones I've ever seen. They, they're they mostly all of them are owning themselves for us. Like we don't even have to say anything. So first of all, let's look at what she's suggesting. Put a mask back on. Most of these libs, you know, let's, let's be real. They don't have a face that's uh, appealing. So... If they're putting on masks, they're benefiting all of society. Let them feel like uh, it's some form of protest. Whatever makes them feel happy. But at the end of the day, it saves the rest of us from having to look at those faces. So 
That's awesome. Also, as an added benefit, we get to identify these people. We know who they are, as if we wouldn't, um, you know, with a chunk of metal hanging off their faces, or, you know, women just cutting their heads, shaving the sides, painting them different colors. Like, they've pretty much done everything out there to make them very identifiable. So, you know, putting on a mask kind of just helps us even more. In case one of them, you know, didn't have all of the indicators, the mask would be a good one. So, absolute cell phone. But look at this. Um, I just wanted you guys to see something here. This. This little this little motion right here. Yeah. She's mad. She's mad. <laughs> oh, all right. What, what else we got? Here we go. Oh, no. There you go. Again. Yeah. So again, guys, Trump is already making America great again. He's making America great again because you know what? The, the trash is taking itself out. They're leaving. We don't even have to do anything. They're just going to evacuate <laughs> the country. We don't have to deal with them. We don't have to deal with their nonsense constantly. Uh, these transgender policies that they push on kids. All of the messed up things that they've been doing. I, I don't want to get into the whole, you know, the shebang of it. We know what it is, right? But they're leaving. Isn't it great? And they're telling each other to do it too. So, guys, you know what? Have fun. Canada's probably a great place. <laughs> Have fun out there. It might be a little cold, but, you know, at least there's no orange man out there. You know, you don't have to worry about the whole orange man bad situation. And we don't have to worry about dealing with you guys. I mean, it's just self-owning across the board, and I love it. I love it. What else we got here? Oh, this this one right here. So this one makes me really proud, guys. Let's go ahead and so this is a this is a kid in a classroom who is. Uh, it seems to me like he's fighting against the teacher and several of the students. He's a Trump supporter, and uh, he's doing a real good job and. The crazy thing is, the, this kid looks really young. This looks like it may be middle school or something like that. So, just from from what I can tell, we're going to watch it. From what I can tell, though, these young kids, the Trump supporters, are more well-informed about politics and what's happening out there than adult progressives, adult liberals. It's absolutely, it's just bonkers to me, but just low-information voters on the left. This kid is about to destroy pretty much everyone in this classroom. What right is he taking away from women? What right is he taking away from women? He don't like y'all. He don't like none of us. He don't even like you. What right is he taking away from women? Y'all still not answering my question. I didn't ask him for like five minutes. What was the answer? Y'all brought up education once I asked that question. Because y'all don't even know what y'all talking about. Y'all just go on Twitter, look at what they say, and just run with it. Karen, you go on Twitter. I watched the debate. I heard everything Y'all thought said. he was taking away abortions. He can't even do that. Karen, what debate did you watch? He's so stupid. Yes, please look at the Chromebook. So I want to see what right he's taking. Let me search it up. Look at right. Let's see what right he's taking away from women. Let's see what right he will be taking away from women. Let's watch. Okay, let's see what he's giving you when he is. No, what right is he taking away from women? See that? See what they do is the moment you start trying to prove something to him, they start switching goalposts. Well, let's see what he's giving you when he's president. Well, you know, it was about what rights he was taking away from women. Remember. Remember what the thing was when you started talking, yapping your gums? It was, he's going to take rights away from women. Well, let's find out what that is. And then he's, he's about to show it to him. Oh, but let's see what he's going to give you when he's president. They don't really care. They don't care about anything they say. They don't care about any of these, like, fake uh, virtues or ideologies that they profess. It's all nonsense. They just have been told by the mind virus that Trump is bad and we need to vote for Kamala. And they'll just come up with any manner of nonsense. They won't look it up, obviously, because if you look it up, you'll find out that it's just nonsense. But they'll just spew all this crap out. Anyways, I'm really happy. I mean, I can't tell you the amount of joy that's in my heart when I see 
these meltdown videos. Because they said that last time. And y'all also said Project 25. He also said publicly he's not he's not going to do no Project 25. He's, he's a liar. Him. Do you believe me? He's a liar. Y'all only want Kamala Harris. Choice. Your body might choice. That's what he's Why do you need an abortion? Why do you care yeah. about abortion? You're your body, my choice. That's funny. Yeah, Nick Fuentes just recently said that as a troll, which was absolutely awesome because uh, women, well, I should say liberal women across social media are melting down over it. But the best part of it is, is they literally did the same thing to everyone during COVID. Like the, the forced vaccinations, isn't that the same as your body, my choice? You guys were cool with that then. So uh, you know what? Uh, you guys are going to have to just suck it up. Suck it up. Is you getting pregnant? Is you getting pregnant? Did you get pregnant once? I shouldn't have to fear that though. Are you even a, you're probably a virgin. All right. You're in middle school. You shouldn't be uh, engaging in intercourse with people in the first place to be concerned about, you know, getting pregnant. But, that's abortion is not one of y'all lists. We we got wars. People trying to have war with us, and y'all worried about abortion. Yo, know, when they explode, y'all worried about abortion. Y'all not even having sex. Like, look at y'all. It don't matter if we was. That kid, that kid's a smart kid, and that's what it is. Uh, you know, most of the Trump supporters were well informed. They knew what was going on. They knew what was on the line. The left, you can hear them right here. This right here. This little miniature microcosm of what's happening in this classroom is basically what happened in this country. I mean, the common sense people voted for Trump and the lunatics just kept spouting off nonsense that wasn't true. But you also can't blame them to a degree. You can blame them that they didn't look into it, that they were generally just retarded and accepted anything that was fed to them. You can blame them for that. But the things that they accepted blindly... It's difficult when like everything that you look at, the, the media, like the news, the, the echo chambers that you may be, you know, in TikTok, Instagram, you know, there's other liberal platforms out there. But when you're in an echo chamber and that's all you hear, it makes it difficult uh, for you to think critically. Not that I'm giving them a pass for that. Like I said, they're retarded. But yeah, for some reason, the Trump supporters well-informed even to the extent that this kid who, who's probably in middle school can see right through it that kid's based Teacher. <laughs> wow. Bro, that's crazy when, when a, a little kid is able to call out his teacher and is more even keeled and, and just more calm and collected than the teacher who's having a meltdown. He's like, I stopped being friends with my friends when they voted for Trump. And the, the kids are like, what, bro? <laughs> He just said the, the, his friends, those that he hang with, and correct me if I'm wrong, you said they asked you, is it still going to be cool after this? Right, right or wrong. So, what are you talking about, ma'am? No, no, Dad, again, let's not, let's not sing one anybody's praise. Let's not sing No, because he said that's no, not what you said. I'm like, what are you talking about? Everybody has had a today on the hand. Right, so right. Right. Well, if I'm going to cut somebody off because they voted for Trump. He didn't say, well, he can do what he wants. can't dominate. Trump, they're not? Yes. What? 
Wow. Wow. Our sentence is not decent because they went away. You have your views, and I have mine. Wow. But that's why you cut them off. Listen, when I was in school, we had no clue about anything that the teachers thought about any personal matters. N none. They never shared it with us. And it frankly wasn't important in school. We were there to learn things and not about what the personal opinions of this moron was. Luckily, they weren't morons when I was in school. I mean, it was way, way better than this. I, I went to school in the late 90s. But this is nuts. Like this dude, this, this teacher sitting here actively trying to indoctrinate these kids, shame them. He's actually shaming them for their opinions and then saying everyone's entitled to their own opinion to kind of, uh, you know, give himself a pass. But then when it comes to someone else's opinion that's not the same as his, he's going to shame them. I mean, this like is evil. Honestly, this is evil to do this to little kids. But the freaking awesome part of this is this little kid is actually smarter than his teacher. He's smarter than his teacher. Bravo. Because he voted for Trump. Okay. Exactly. What? You don't get it. Some of you can't have the Trump is a good president. Some of y'all are blindsided by what y'all hear on the internet. There you go. All right. Anyways, you guys get the picture. I mean, it's just. It's it's just embarrassing. Embarrassing uh, for a teacher to get schooled like that by by a kid this young. Right. He's he's just well informed on the issues. And just basic logic and reason, he's able to do that. Isn't it funny, though, that whenever you see people on the left, they're completely emotional and even down to the teacher level. Like these are supposed to be teachers that are teaching kids. They're supposed to have, uh, you know, the faculties, the cognitive faculties and the mental fortitude to be able to maintain neutrality and be able to speak without um, creating logical fallacies in literally everything they say. This kid is slaughtering his teacher, just massacring uh, the teacher with basic logic, basic logic. So is it any surprise that uh, most of the country voted for Trump? Not to me. So anyways, guys, uh, leave it in the comments. Let me know what you think and leave a like, share the video until the next one.